actually brings us right to our next thing. Delpit signed a contract extension before the game, or it was announced on Saturday, then the numbers came out Sunday. Three years, $36 million for the Browns safety, who's kind of come into his own this season more than he had earlier in his career. What would you guys think of the contract? Was it the right numbers? And what do you think about him being a foundational piece of the secondary moving forward, G? I like it. Um, safeties really don't usually get that big of a bag when they, when they talk about extensions. And safeties really don't even get picked in the first round. So it's, it's almost like, you know, they're, they're not going to be able to get that fifth year um, that you would usually give a, on a rookie deal because they usually get drafted in the late first, early second round. For Delpit, I thought it was a very smart decision. Um, I thought his agent looked around, looked at the uh, different, uh, you know, contracts that is, is out there. He said, listen, we might as well go get this done right now, get you some security. Uh, and he did it at a young enough age where he may get another bite at an apple because he only signed for a three-year deal. He could come back up and, and possibly, if it don't work for the Browns, he can get another contract other places. I thought he was having the best year of his career, and I think that's just some of the deals that the Browns are trying to do to wrap up. Hopefully, they do the same with Joe Flacco before he start to get hot and they we get to the eight million dollar threshold where some desperate team <laughs> wants. I, I mean, I'm signing him to a, I'm signing him to a two year deal, boo. I'm not signing him. Bef- they're not signing him before the end of the season. Come on, he's played two games. Uh, he's 39 years old. I, thir- he looked like he's 12. Well, here's what we learned this year: the premium on back uh, quarterbacks, quarterbacks, the price for those are going to go up. I, I, so, I don't know that I'd sign him for two years. Maybe I'd sign him two years. Team option. One guaranteed team option. Team option. I love this deal, and the reason I love it is because so you're giving up 23 million in lock money. Um, I do agree with you. Safeties usually don't get that, but I think they found a guy that fits their need and fits their system and plays well within it. And that's kind of the going rate if you want to lock them up and keep them there long term. I'm all about stability on the defensive side of the ball. I want these guys locked in so we can see them play together for three, four years and take a run at it that way. It's just every spin of the wheel you get, you have a chance of landing on a dollar. I like it. And again, because it's only two of those three years are guaranteed, right. I think it was a no-brainer. He By played. the way, Dewan Jones out for the year, including playoffs. I so, just, do just take do we know what the... I don't know what the injury is, but that's what the Browns are saying. He's out for Yeah, the it's either period. a torn, probably torn MCL or PCL. And I, I'm fine with the contract. They overpaid him, obviously, a little bit, but... You think I'm they overpaid him? I mean, I, he's an, I think he's an average safety. I think he's, I think he's wow, above I, average. Oh, yeah, I think he I picked think he a good... He, had a great, he picked good time to have his best year. He stayed healthy and he had a great, he's had a great year yeah. and, he, and he's earned it. Uh, I, I think the JJ3 contract was around, around this number. I was just trying to look it up real quick, but I think he was around 12, 13 million mm-hmm. when they signed him. Thornhill, that was I think a they disaster. Got, it, but that was the top rate That's safety. That's what they got. And I think Thornhill was seven, so they got less on that deal. But, I mean, this is the going rate for top safeties. Is he one of the he's elite? He's not a top sa- safety. He's not, he's not elite. It's sort of like, yeah. I, I'm thinking like this through in real time, it sort of feels like the Najoku, Najoku deal of you're being paid like elite, even though you're not elite, but you're above average, but it keeps you in I love it for the continuity. Again, like I don't I just, disagree you know, with that. I, I want these it's moving fine. parts no to slow it's, down. It's going to come a point where they're going to have some hard decisions to make and who do you keep and, and they're going to, there's going to come a point where well, you got to move on next from guys. Year? Is, isn't that the point? Well, they can redo the Deshaun deal next year and yeah. they can kick more of the money down the road, but yeah. it's setting up for a calamity at in the some future. Point. This Conklin deal is a disaster. The Conklin deal is yeah, a mess. That's killer. And I Killer. don't know, you know, I, I, you're just going to have to eat that, I think. Like, <laughs> That's crazy. Because now you got Dewan Jones yeah. there, and he's probably your starting right tackle next year. So I don't. Unless they move on from Jed. I, they already signed his fifth year deal. I don't know. They've got some. Yeah. But it's going to come a point where they're going to they're gonna run out of magic beans. They're spending too much of, money on the offensive line. They're going to have to. Well, but, but they redid both of those guys. And once you yeah, redo a true. deal, it's harder to move on. From, they redid mm-hmm. Teller and Batonio. Yep. Yeah. So right, it true. makes it harder to move coaches, on from those guys. After you got paid. No, there's going to be a reckoning with the cap. And I don't even, I, I, I try to push it out of my mind yeah, as much as I can. We don't have to this worry notion about it now. that you can manipulate it forever is it's a not fallacy. True. No, that is it's not, not true. true. There we, will be a reckoning day. We talked Let's about just it hope that between then and now, they it's, can. It's what you do between now and then. That's Matt, it. Matt Ryan cost $45 million on the Colts cap when he was, or on the Falcons cap when he was playing for the Colts. Brady's costing $40 million on the Bucks cap this year and he's retired. So there comes a point where it ends badly. It always does. It's what you do between now and then. 
and that we can have that discussion another day. Well, but, when, uh, but, hey, <laughs> hey, you congratulations, you guys. I ain't getting no social security. Keep it rolling. <laughs> <laughs> My social security is out of here. So we're going to keep running this debt up. <laughs> we're going to run that deficit. <laughs> We'll keep swiping that credit card. It only comes back to, it, again. It spend, only spend, comes spend. back to bite you if you don't draft well. You, we've seen with the Rams. Oh, it's going to bite the Rams. Has it bit the Rams? Well, the Rams have two all-time draft beaters. So they're good. And if the Browns can find those, you're right. They can you minimize the well. blow down the road. If you can find a, a Puka Nakua in the fifth round. Good luck with that. I mean, we can't find it's not receivers just, in the third round. The Rams or are not just develop. The Rams are a decent team. It's not just because of those two guys. There's other players. No, you, Williams was another draft home run. If you draft well, then you it doesn't really come. You can back hide it. Much. You can hide it. Yeah. But but there's there's going to be a day of reckoning. Well, oh yeah. And it, let's just to your point, they knew when they made this deal, it was an all or nothing deal. This isn't a let's make the playoffs deal. This is let's win a Super Bowl deal. Yeah. Let win a Super Bowl. The Falcons only have a day of reckoning because they didn't get a good quarterback to follow Matt Ryan. Well, it's hard to get a good quarterback when you're not when you're 45 million in the on top one. 10. So eventually, that's why I'm saying eventually, I mean, you can get lucky and find a Brock Purdy, I guess, but that's just getting The lucky. Falcons have drafted high in recent years. In top they, 10? Yeah, well, they I'm, drafted Kyle Pitts instead of a quarterback that yeah. year. And that oh, was that's a their swing fault. and a miss. Well, I don't think it's a swing they and a miss. They just have, don't have a quarterback. They, they drafted the Drake the London hasn't, high. Hasn't panned out the way they'd hoped it would when they took him in the first round. Their top 10 picks the last couple of years have been Kyle Pitts, Bijan Robinson, and Drake Robinson's London. They've actually drafted the top 10 three times and didn't take him. I mean, back. it's drafting a running back with a top 10 pick is stupid. They're a stupid organization. That's why they're in bad shape. Not because... So you think that there will never be a day of reckoning for this contract? I, there might, but it, it's only if you draft poorly going forward. Be, you ju- when you have a contract like that, it won't hurt you if you end up with a lot of cheap players. You have to draft really well to make up for that. And I mean, who's been crushed by the cap and it killed their team? Who? Well, Atlanta right now could be in a better spot. I they're mean, in they first got, place, but they're, they're in six and seven. The Bucs are first, also six and they're seven. They're not in first. Technically, the Bucs are in first place. It's a bad division. I, six and I seven. Think, yeah. I think we are evolving into... Yeah. And the cap's going way up next year also. These massive quarterback contracts yeah. are still relatively new to where... How am I trying to say this? The, We're not sure the impact a bad deal will have moving forward. Kind of, yes. But there's always teams. There's always guys... I mean, the Chiefs lost Tyreek Hill. I don't know if that was necessarily a cap thing specifically, but there's always instances of teams having to no, move Hill on from players. No, Hill was a cap hit. There's always instances of teams moving on from players that they'd like to keep, but they sure. can't. That's they could have signed happens. Tyreek Hill. They chose not to. They didn't think, and they won a Super Bowl without him. They did I, win obviously, Super Bowl look, it looks like it's affecting them. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I know. We had that argument they earlier. Need, it's hard they to need say. wide receivers right now. But their I, wide receiving core. The, if the, even the fact that they're where they are with their receiving core again, is Again, they remarkable. won a Super Bowl if, with no wide receiving if, core last year. And well, I'm sure Travis those, Kelsey is the best at his position, though, well, too. he's still the best in his position, no? He is. But they, I mean, when you watch them, it's obvious. But why the guys, was it? The but guys, again, they didn't have it last year. Well, the league is caught up. It's For new, whatever reason, it's they're not. Year. We'll it's a see. new year. We'll see. Trust me, of, I have Patrick Mahomes in both my fantasy te- leagues, and he's pedestrian this year. In he terms has. of, like, the, the two names that are in top of mind are Matt Ryan and Tom Brady, because that's I just wrote the story a couple of weeks ago. Right. But when you have a, a $40 million hole in your salary cap, it's going to affect your team. What is his hit next year? For, it's more, Deshaun? Yeah. Right now, it's $64 million. Right now, the biggest reason it's going to affect the team is because he has not been any good. Wait, yes. wait <laughs> you mentioned $64 million. Um, what What is available for them in terms of restructuring to bring that number way down? How do they do that? You tack on void years at the end of the deal. You convert money into bonus money, and you tack on void years at the end. And then that's where... The void years at the end are is where the money sort of piles up. So and that's, that's what, where it really dings you, right? Well, like, yeah, like the 40 for Brady that's not there, and, the 45 for... Yeah, and Atlanta did that. Atlanta restructured Ryan one too many times probably and put too much money at the end, and that's what came up to get him. Philly is one, if you want to use an example, Philly's one team that keeps restructuring deals, but they rest- keeps restructuring the right deals. That's right. And so they managed to yeah. like to it, navigate this okay. It, it's all about the quarterback that you spend money on being good, which and, he hasn't, and drafting good players it, to replace guys with well, cheap Well, I mean, you Philly mentioned got, Joe Flacco's had more production. We've got seven touchdown passes in six games from Deshaun and five in two, in two. games 
for Flacco. Yeah. So it's efficiency at that position too. And Philly, going back to Philly, it's yeah. Jalen Hurts. We find Jalen Hurts in the third round. So that right. helps. That helps right. your your cause. But next year his extension kicks in. Right. right. And so then we'll see. Yeah. You know, at that, that's why I'm saying and I their think defense is not as good. Well, but anyway. we're we're evolving with this monster quarterback. Yeah, we'll see. Of of I don't know that we but necessarily again, know yet. The cap is, I was just reading yesterday is going to skyrocket it is. next year. It, so, and that's why the Browns were comfortable. Right. Doing this deal in in part because skyrocket. The, what, the cap what's the percentage? Gonna go it's going up twenty percent. I, it's it's a massive spike. Yeah. I don't have the numbers. I can't in front remember of the me. exact numbers. And, and that's usually why, it goes up 10, 12 million a year. I think it's going to go up at least double that. And, next and that, year. that's why people say it's imaginary, right? The cap going up is them saying, okay, we'll just spend more money. It's like you never know when somebody does tax breaks, right? You never know what the unintended consequences of tax breaks yeah, or cuts are. Like, that is very true. Three to five years. You got to wait three, five, six, seven years to even see it. Did it work? Did it? Did, did his economy better? We don't know. So it's like, okay, they keep giving these contracts and they're they're hell bent on keep giving these quarterbacks 600, 700. They'll figure it out. But I, you know, it's, you can't. They better. I, Bull has, you did say that. Which team? I can only think of one team. The San Francisco 49ers, when the cap was back in the 90s, and they just basically screwed the cap up and they were the team that got left out and they had to play all kind of money and, and figures. But look, who, what team has not been able to, Field a, a team. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not about for, fielding a team. It's about being competitive. Well, right. I, uh, First of all, if you win a Super Bowl, okay, that's part of the doing business. Like, the Rams don't regret trading, making all their trades. And Tampa doesn't regret and bringing in Tom Bay. Brady. But Atlanta, Atlanta went, to, Atlanta's, a Super Bowl Atlanta and went won to a Super Bowl. Atlanta's looking back at 28-3 to and saying, well, all of that should've maneuvering that. and all of that money for Matt Ryan, yeah. it didn't get the ring. Which is why it's all dependent on what you do between now and then. Yeah. It will come a day where... You're in a mess with yeah. the cap. If you do other things wrong, it will eventually. No, look, get there's you. always yes. it's always punitive if you draft poorly. Yeah, always, 100%. it's more punitive if you're in a cap step position that's unfavorable. If you're not hitting on those fourth and fifth round guys, the Rams would love nothing more than to pay Nakua when his contract is up. But they got three years of him on the cheap, and they've got to they've got to make sure that they're in a position to do well when they've got two of their biggest offensive contributors that were steals in the draft, and they're yeah. paying them nothing. Yeah. So real quick, before we go to Super Chats, just a yes or no. Fan of the Delpit deal? Jay, we'll start with you. Yeah, with definitely You're a fan. fan. G a fan? Yeah. Jason, you like it? Yes, not probably as much as they do, but yeah. if it's a yes or no, I would say I'm yes. with Jason. I don't love it, but I, I would give, I'd give it a mild thumbs up. 